Hi, I'm Smita and in this video, we're going to look at how you can address frequently asked questions a lot faster with Quick Replies on Interact. Quick Replies enable you and your team to reply to frequently asked questions in just a click. We're going to see two things here. Firstly, how can we create these Quick Replies and secondly, how do we personalize them with variables and media files. To create a quick reply, we need to head to the Settings tab, which is the icon right at the bottom on the left-hand side of the dashboard. And then, we need to click on Settings here in the drop-down. Under Settings, you need to click on Quick Replies right here. Let's now go ahead and create a quick reply. You can give an easy-to-remember name for your quick reply here in the Name section and then go on to create the message in the section below. Giving a name to a quick reply will help you find them easily in Interact's inbox. Now here, in the message section, you can create the actual quick reply that you want to say. I'm going to create a welcome message for a new user. Interact also lets you build quick replies with variables and media files. This allows you to send personalized quick responses to your users. The variables can then be replaced with user information like name, email ID, or phone number. You can also add media files in your quick responses. Let's add a variable to this message. Now we need to assign a value to the variable. So in the drop down here, I'm going to pick the user's name as a value for variable 1. What we also need to do is give a fallback value for the variable. Now this is to ensure that for conversations where the value of the variable is unavailable, Interact can then substitute it with the fallback value that you provide. So in this case, if the user's name is unavailable, Interact will pick up the given fallback value, which is hey there, and share that with the user. Let's also add a media file to make this message more appealing. I have picked up a welcome card from my files and attached it to this quick reply. Now that we are done, let's click on Add Reply. Let's now go see how we can send out this quick reply. This here is Interact's inbox. Coming to the Composer section, here you can click on the Quick Replies icon or simply use a keyboard shortcut which is forward slash to pull up your quick replies. You can also search for them by name and use the arrow keys to move up and down. This is the message we have created and you'll notice here that Interact has replaced the variable with this user's name. The message is good to go, so let's now send this out to the user. This is a user's WhatsApp chat screen and this is how a quick reply will appear to your user. So there you go, that's how you create and send quick replies with media and user variables. Watch our next video to find out how you can create and send WhatsApp templates with buttons.